We've got a bit of breaking news to bring you now. We're going straight to the Old Bailey round the corner from here. Some breaking news in the last few minutes. This has come from the uh, Central Criminal Court. Uh, Wayne Cousins has pleaded guilty to the murder of Sarah Everard. Cousins is a 48-year-old Metropolitan Police officer. He's already pleaded guilty to Sarah Everard's rape and murder. Sarah Everard was 33 and was abducted when walking on Clapham Common in south-west London in March. Straight now to Sky's crime correspondent Martin Brunt for the latest. Martin. Well, the trial that was scheduled for October now isn't going to happen because Wayne Cousins has, in the last few seconds, pleaded guilty to the murder uh, of Sarah Everard. A month ago, in the same court here, uh, he'd already pleaded guilty to uh, raping and kidnapping her, but hadn't until today uh, been asked formally to plead to the third charge he faced of murdering her. But he's just done that, so he's admitted all the three charges uh, he faced. He's not here in court. Uh, he's appeared by video link from Belmarsh Prison, where he's been held since his arrest in early March. Um, he, much as uh, on previous appearances, um, has struck a rather forlorn figure. Uh, he's sitting on a red bench, um, bearded, shaved head as before, hunched forward, his hands clasped together between his legs and staring at the floor. The uh, hearing opened at 10.30 and within two minutes or so, uh, he had been asked to, um, to make that plea. Now, there are or there have been certain reporting restrictions uh, on proceeding so far. Um, we still haven't had uh, officially any detail of, uh, of what, uh, what happened um, on the night of Sarah's murder, but we do have some idea of Sarah Everard's uh, movements and, of course, some of the movements of Wayne Cousins who's just admitted her murder. So Sarah Everard went missing on the 3rd of March, reported the next day as missing uh, by her boyfriend. She lived in Brixton, had visited a friend in nearby Clapham, had been walking home to Brixton, a rather circuitous route around uh, Clapham Common, um, and then just vanished. And her body was found 10 days later, um, 50 miles away um, in Woodland near Ashford, um, in Woodland that was very close, 100 metres or so from land that was owned by Wayne, Wayne Cousins. He'd already been arrested uh, by that stage. Um, apparently, t uh, telephone footage, uh, telephone um, cell site analysis had located him um, at that site. Um, he initially uh, made no comment to police, um, but eventually, uh, last month, pleaded guilty to kidnap and rape of Sarah Everard. And, of course, this was a case that caused widespread shock and condemnation, not just publicly, but within the Metropolitan Police itself. And the Commissioner, Cressida Dick, even in the early stages of Wayne Cousins' arrest, uh, had talked about the shock and anger uh, within the force. Now, Having heard his final guilty plea to Sarah Everard's murder this morning, we are expecting that Commissioner Cressida Dick uh, will have more to say. Uh, Wayne Cousins had been a Metropolitan Police Officer for three years. Before that, he had worked um, for the Civil Nuclear Constabulary. Um, hadn't been a police officer long, for long, had worked as a mechanic in his family's business in Dover. Um, that business collapsed, he became a police officer, and at the time of this murder, when he committed this murder, he was uh, a PC and serving as an armed officer within the um, protection, diplomatic and parliamentary protection unit at Scotland Yard. He was off duty on the night he snatched Sarah Everard off the street uh, and later murdered her. He is still currently a serving police officer, but since his earlier guilty pleas, he hasn't been paid by the force, and um, it must be inevitable now uh, that he will face um, inevitable misconduct uh, hearing and uh, be sacked by the Metropolitan Police. But we'll hear more from Cressida Dick sometime in the next hour, we think.